When I was seven, I pretended to be a wrestler in my front yard. I was always the champ with a title belt and all. I would jump off the fence and onto the ground, imagining that I had just frog-splashed my opponent. I loved it. I could have been the champ. Have you been? What do you want, Tom? Uh, is that any way to talk to your dad? I'll call you dad when you start acting like one. Look, do you, do you have a couple of minutes? I, I, I'd really love to talk with you. And why would I want to talk with you? Look, all I ask for is a couple minutes. That's it. I've got nothing to say to you. Well, I do. Five minutes? So it's been a long time, huh? Five years. How have you been? How's your mom? I know you don't care about mom, so I'm going to ignore that. I'm fine. Always have been. Even after five years, all that anger you had for me is still there, huh? You're the one that ended everything with your little letter. Oh, and I never got to tell you. You spell check. You know, I thought I had no more outs with you and your mom. I felt I had to write that letter. You think it was easy for me to read? I know it wasn't easy for you, I do. But you wouldn't bend for me. You're one to talk. Well, guess I'll see you in another five years. You know what? Make it ten. Brad, writing that letter was the hardest thing I ever had. Do you really think it was easy for me to read? You blame me for everything! I never meant to hurt you. Really? Look, get a letter from your dad. Let's see the car you're trading in. Can't even give me the title in person. What is it? She wrote me a letter. Since you couldn't come to my house and meet the new puppy. Since you wouldn't get to know Susie, my girlfriend. Since you couldn't be happy for my engagement. Since you didn't say Happy Father's Day this year. I am giving you the space you desire. I haven't failed at many things in life, but our relationship is one that I have failed at. I'm not sorry I treated you like a man for the past 19 years, but it was for your own good. If you wanted to reconcile, then I would too. You are my son. My one and only. I know you don't believe it, but love, Dad. What's it say? Why would I congratulate you on your engagement when you didn't even bother to know what college I went to? Did you even care about me or my life? Did you even care about why I had to explain my situation to everyone I knew? Tell them why my mother and my aunt were showing up to parent night instead of my mother and my father? Did you care about any of that? Brad, your mother and I... I don't want to hear another excuse from you. You know, where, where, where did you go? What? You said once you read the letter, you left. Where did you go? You really want to know? Yeah. I went to your house. Really? I went to your house to hit you in the face. But you weren't there, as usual. All right. I deserve it, son. I do. You want to do it now? Fine. Go ahead. Don't call me that. What? Son. I'm not your son, and you're not my father. You're just the guy that slept with my mother. And I'm not gonna hate you. Because I'm better than you. I'll see you, Chief. Brad, wait. Just tell me one thing. What do you 
What do you do now? Are you still in school? Got a job? I'm a writer. Look, get a letter from your dad. Is that any way to talk to your dad? <laughs> I felt I had to write that letter. <laughs> Since you wouldn't get to know Susie, my girlfriend.